All right, so in this video, we are going to simplify these exponential expressions over here. So let's stop the plus one over here. I have a square root of 25m to the negative 12. So I'm going to distribute the square root to both terms. For the constant, you just want to square root the constant. So the square root of 25 is just 5. And when I'm square rooting the exponent here, it basically means you're dividing the exponent by whatever's out here of the root. So in this case, it's just a square root. So I'm just going to divide the exponent by 2. That's just going to become m to the negative 6. You do the same thing on the bottom. It's going to become 6m5. 5. 5 over 6 cannot be simplified. However, I can combine my m terms. So if I combine my m terms, negative 6 minus 5 is negative 11. And then I just want to make sure my exponent is positive. So I'm only going to move the m to the bottom. So my final solution is 5 over 6 m to the exponent of 11. Okay, for this question over here, I first want to simplify the inside. I want to basically get rid of my brackets on the inside. And then I want to distribute the exponent in. Now, this is a bit of a tricky question because you have a negative exponent and you have a constant, which means you want to get rid of the negative exponent first. So in this question, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move this to the numerator. And since there's going to be nothing left in the denominator, basically it's just a one left. I'm not going to rewrite my denominator after that. If you want, I'll show it in this step. Normally I wouldn't write my denominator anymore. So when I move this to the top, the exponent just becomes positive one, which I don't even have to write. Also, the, since there's nothing left in the denominator, technically it's just a one, which you don't have to write anymore. So for the next step over here, I'm going to distribute this exponent into this bracket. So 10 squared is 100. And x cubed squared, so 3 times 2 is just 6. So that's x6 times 10x6. Now uh, combine these terms. So 10 times 100 times 10 is 1000. And 6 plus 6 is just 12. Now I can cube root this. So cube root of 1000 is just 10. And 12 divided by 3 is just 4. All right, third question here. Again, same idea. We want to simplify the inside before the outside. But as you can see, we have a negative exponent outside the bracket. I don't want to distribute this in because I have a constant in there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move this to the denominator. Since there's nothing left in the top, there's only a 1 left. And you have to write it for the top. Unlike the bottom, having a denominator 1, it just disappears. But when your numerator is 1, it does not disappear. It stays like that. That's a very common mistake people make. So try to avoid that mistake. The bottom is just going to be this. And then this term is there as well. x to the negative 1 times 10. The order doesn't matter which way you write it. Now I want to simplify my exponents. I want to multiply my two exponents into the bracket. So 32 squared, you'd have to do that in a calculator. That is 1 over 1, 2, 2, 4. And 5 times 2 is just 10. Here, negative 1 times 10 is just negative 10. The next thing we want to do is just combine these two denominators here. 10 plus negative 10 is just 0. And anything to the power of 0 is just 1. And 0 0.24 times 1 is just I mean, one one zero two four times one is just one zero two four, and then we just have to do one over one zero two four to the power of zero point two. Remember, this is just like 
one over zero point two is just one over five, which is basically the fifth root of this. Now, the fifth root of one is just one, and the fifth root of one zero two four. You can do that in the calculator. It probably should be four. I'm guessing. Yep, it is. So final answer is just one over four. And last question here, 10th root of 1024 is just two. And you can do that in your calculator. I'll double check it, but only possibility is probably two for a whole number at least. And then 20 divided by 10 is just two. And then ninth root of 512 is also two. And 27 divided by nine is just three. So here these two is just cancel and x squared. So two minus three is just x to the negative one, which means my final answer, if I make it as a positive exponent, is just one over x.